Come back, come Gertie Rude, back again, the Thursday mood. I love a Thursday, mainly because it's the day before Friday. I hope I'm sounding a bit better today. I've still kind of got that cold going on. It's peeing hard down here in Sussex. And the weather doesn't really know what it's going to do today. It's keeping us in suspenders or something like that. A surprise, I think. And so let's have a look at this. Where are we? We're uniquely selfish. Well, yes, we know that. Harry is still plugging spell. He's not, is he? Oh, my God. Most of the people I know that bought it haven't actually read it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Wasn't it the most left behind book on holiday resorts or, or airports? People would buy it. <laughs> Hoping it will act like a mogadon during the flight, I think. But And they, uh, yeah, they found so many copies that are just dumped everywhere. So there's that. I mean, we've got November the 5th coming up and we need some kindling, don't we, for our far work and bonfires, displays or summit. Let's jump in. What's happening? Come on. What's happening, darling? In the world that year. Right. How is Spare? Uh, he's delighted by Ooh. his own success. Right. And I'm sure he feels absolutely no regrets. Deluded. For all the things okay. that he did say or in all the... Yeah, but he didn't mean um, it was poetic license or summit or other. And did he have his visa sealed? I don't know how painful it was. Do you think it hurt? Do you think they probably numbed the area first before they sealed it? What do you reckon? Because I would have thought when one is having one's visa sealed, some sort of medical intervention should have been applied. That's what I think. Did they just do it raw? Were they all commando? I wonder who actually did it. Did they film it? Do we want to see it? Do we care? So anyway, he's had his uh, visa sealed, so no one's allowed to know anything about it. Uh, uh, basically... We don't need to be there and read it. Because if there was nothing to hide, it would be open, wouldn't it? It would be like everybody else's. So the very fact someone went round and took time, they probably took one of those glue guns. You know, those acrylic guns that they use when they're building houses or something or whatever people are doing. Putting up shelves. Uh, they probably pinned him down and sealed his visa. And that would be the end of it. That would be the end of it. The Mark won't want to know him no more. Mind you, she's not really keen on him to start with, so... That'll probably seal the deal on their marriage. Yes, that's it. Now you've had your visa sealed, Barry. You're off skis, mate. You could go back to Blighty. You can. So that's happened. And uh, his visa sealed. And that's about it, really. <laughs> Are we excited? Yes. So come on, Tom. What's going I on with Tom Bowles? Too, Mr. Bowles. Uh, and the terrible mm. criticism of right. Kate and William and yes. uh, the Queen. Mm. But that's about Harry. You know, people think that he has regrets and wants to come back to England. I don't even think he wrote that book. I just think he had one of those dictaphones and just grizzled into it for about six months. And then the ghostwriter probably helped along with the Megalite. Anywhere between one and five o'clock in the morning. Where she's mulling it all over in her little brain. And she probably was endlessly emailed the ghostwriter and say don't forget to put this don't forget to put that a bit like the jason canorth emails that we've all been treated to with the mail court case 21 wasn't it 21 i'm sure it was 21 and uh here he is what's he wearing now oh he's got a plethora of things on isn't he yes he's very masonic just waiting for him to pop his hand inside his jacket but he's not going to do that he usually does actually because he likes everybody down i have been accepted by the lodge you know i'm very masonic Yes, the fact it is my great, great uncle, great uncle, granny's cousin. Yeah, so it's his great uncle, is the chief mason, wizard, whatever it's called. What are they called? Don't care. Do they sit and cut up stones? I mean, because they call themselves masons. Do they have like a little hammer, like when people are looking for um, fossils? Is that what they do? They go to the lodge and they all sit. Is it a lodge where they sweat? Do you think they've got a fire in there and they chuck water on it and all sit there semi-clad uh, with their little little hammers like they're scolding for fossils or whatever it is they do? Yeah, breaking up bits of stone. They do. That's what they do. I mean, they're men, aren't they? So, do you know what I mean? All of those ideas are really open. Uh, it could be all of them. could be none of them. But I just think it's very dodgy because if you're going to break up stones, why don't you just do it in public? That's what I say. So he's got all these men. Goals! He's probably got them off of um, Poundland. He's terribly pleased with his life out there. He's very Is he? pleased to be free. Hello! Hello, it's my time! <laughs> oh, my God! And he's a man... I'm out in public. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> it's me. Oi, who's that old been talking to? Don't you be talking to my Barry Barrington. 
Don't you talk to my meal ticket? Singularly. Right, come on, go. Only come on, let's go. Himself. Yes. And certainly not a oh, I'm so man. pleased with myself. The point about Harry right. is that he's a very simple man. And yes. He doesn't understand <laughs> uh, many of the circumstances around his own life. Right. And he is convinced he's actually the right and that Meghan has been appallingly treated. And even Yeah, I, I think he's like most men of... Uh, if you look at his background, I mean, take away the fact that he's a royal... Um, I think if he hadn't met the Megan, he would just truck along in his own little lane for the rest of his life. He wasn't one of these that was a deep thinker and looking left and looking right and cogitating and struggling and um, weighing up weighty sort of theories in his mind or anything, was he? He's just sort of get on a pony, kick it, and beat it around a bit, so you can club a ball and everyone would cheer at you. Someone would give you a cup and you'd go and get pissed and fall over in the woods. And if there's a stable girl, all's the better. That was him, really, wasn't it? He wasn't a complicated man, really. He wasn't intellectual at all. So I think he was over his... Well, he was above his pay grade, wasn't he, when he met the Megalite? I'm not, I don't mean her looks, but, you know, her brain's crafty. See, people always think that, oh, well, they're not very intellectual, they're not very educated. No, but cunning and craft goes just as far nowadays, my darlings. Yes, it does. And what you do... To make up for your lack of education and intellect, uh, you just word salad it up, don't you? A bit like Pamela. Um, that's the other one. Trudeau's wife, that blooming Sophie. <gasps> Can you imagine being stuck in a room with the marklet, Pamela Harris, whatever her bleep name is, and Sophie Trudeau? Oh, my God. I'd be sticking pins in my ears. I really would. Oh, I want to end it. Anyway, let's go. you go bonkers, wouldn't you? He's pointed out that he had made... Oh, let's do this now. Let's all clap. Clap. Who's got the clap? Things. Are they telling us something? Is this symbolic? Is she trying to tell us she's got the clap? Somebody's got the clap. Why is everybody clapping? Oh, she's probably clapping because when that lady to her left isn't looking, she's giving her husband a, bit, a little bit of a nip and tuck on the bot bot. You don't know, do you? I'm making it up. Probably not. Hello! 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 He doesn't like the people actually Come on, everyone, like your wife. Life. Either loyalty child, or come on, child. Or an interest in the truth. It's a kitty catcher, isn't it? And Hello. He's just detached. Yeah, look. From <laughs> the way of life. He's never. Oh, dude, sick bag. Normal human oh, relationships dear. or behaviour. What is it with them and kids? It's them and kids, isn't it? I don't know what's happening here. Why are we doing this? Let's move you. I don't know why that's happening. Why is that happening? Right, let's go like that then. And he still thinks of himself as terrible. It's going all dusty. I don't and like it dusty. He thinks that he is the victim. Right, stop. And that he and Megan have suffered terrible slights and terrible injustices. Well, I think we've suffered. So of course, for him, the book uh, probably. We've all suffered. They ain't suffered. Alfred. They're living high on the bloody oof. What point did they suffer? Mind you, yeah, to be honest, just imagine all the facelifts she's had to have. It must have been horrendous. At that time, she had to have her boobies reduced. I mean, that was... I mean, it was beyond the pale, wasn't it? Was it on Her Majesty's orders? One doesn't know, does one? And when I talk about Her Majesty, I don't mean the late, great, deceased one. I mean the one that lives in the market's head, that one. Anyway, wherever you are, I'm probably going to be back in a minute. If I can... My laptop, because I dropped it, and I wasn't just happy with dropping it, like a bleeding idiot. I was going to say a rude word. Uh, but when I went to pick it up, I then went and dropped it again. It slipped through my hands. So it's very much like a Stone Age laptop at the moment. You really have to get out the, uh, what's, what do you call it, the air things and sort of try and pump it up a bit. <laughs> it just doesn't want to work. But all things being equal, if I can get it to work, I'll come and do a few more. That's why I'm doing a few at a time, because when I can get it to work, I have to sort of get with it quick, because then it will stop working. And just think, no, that's it, you've had me now. No, no. You're the one that dropped me. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're the one that abused me. You abused me three times, dear. I'm dead now. That's that's what my laptop's saying to me. It's saying, get yourself down curries, love, and get yourself a new laptop. That's what it's saying. So, anyway, there's that. Wherever you are in the world, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. I'm sorry that I still sound terrible. And my job always sound like a bleeding old fishwife anyway. So, <laughs> love you and leave you. Bye-bye now.